Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Um, so I've been asked a couple of questions about uh, Unique lately and if I'm still a presenter. So I wanted to hop on and do a short video as to why, no, I'm not a presenter anymore. And to tell you why I'm no longer a presenter. And uh, this is nothing against the product. I loved the products that I used. Um, still using a couple of them, like this lip mask is great. I love the spray foundation. It's probably one of my most favorite foundations. The liquid um, eyeshadow is fabulous. But I do not want to be a presenter anymore. And here's why. Their training stinks, or my training stunk. Um, my upline, I did not care for my upline. Uh, I know I knew my upline prior to going into uh, becoming a presenter because I'd bought from her for a couple years. I've known, I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't even know how I got hooked up with her, maybe from Instagram or something, and really liked her. She was great about responding to messages and questions about the makeup and everything, but now she might be too big. I don't know, too big for a bridges maybe? I don't know. But um, when I decided to sign up, I thought, well, you know, I'm using the makeup and I can sign up as a presenter for $35. There were two packages actually. You could sign up for $35 and then $140. I don't, I don't remember, but I did the $35 one, which gave me a free mascara. So it was a win-win. Um, but I didn't care about getting anybody under me. I just wanted to promote the makeup because I liked it so much and share with you guys, you know, the makeup I've learned about the products, the goodies that were in the products, uh, how good the products were for your skin and that kind of things. I think Unique's come a long way since they came out with the 3D mascara many years ago, and that's how a lot of people got into the company. But um, I did not like my uplines training. So what happened is, and I'm gonna try to keep this short, but what happened was, I signed up, I reached out to my friend on Instagram or uh, Facebook actually, because we'd been Facebook friends for a couple years. And I said, hey, I'm gonna sign up under you. She's like, great, that's all I got, it's great. So after I signed up, I got a few emails from her assistant saying, you know, welcome, here's a few videos, you know, help you with your training, help you with any questions you may have about the makeup or whatever. So I thought, okay, this is nice. So I started looking at everything, started looking at some of the tools in the office and the back office and all of that. And I went to YouTube, started watching a couple videos. And then I had all these questions. I'm a questions person. My, my job, people make fun of me because I ask questions. They know that if there's a meeting, I'm gonna ask a question. It's just how I am. Um, and I feel like that's the only way you learn and you become better is to ask questions. So after I saw those emails and the videos, I had all these questions. So I went back to the assistant because in the original email the assistant sent to me, she said, do not reach out to your upline. And I thought, that's strange. Because if I were an upline, I would tell my people, you reach out to me if you have a problem or a question. But that's just me. So anyway, she said, don't reach out to the upline. I'll answer all your questions. So I started emailing her and she was great. She responded and she said, you know, let's start a WhatsApp chat because there's a lot of other new people that have questions too. And I thought, oh, that's fantastic because we can feed off each other. We can ask each other questions and you know, we can help each other. One day, we did WhatsApp and she was gone. The assistant was gone. I don't know what happened. I didn't ask. The only communication of any sorts that I got from my upline was, can you send me uh, the emails that my assistant sent to you? And I'm like, sure. I said, she was great. She was always so helpful. You know, is something wrong? Well, she's not here anymore, she told me. I was like, oh man, I was bummed because she was so nice. So then I was like, okay, that happened and I'm like, okay, let me get into, into it. And with Unique, there's a rewards link that you can share and that kind of thing. I didn't really understand how it worked. So I reached back out to my upline via Facebook Messenger and said, you know, can you help me with this? And I listed out maybe three or four questions that I had. I got sentences of two words. Uh, if I ask a question, yes, no, that's great. 
uh, here's a video. I didn't want a video. I did not want a video. I wanted somebody to pick up the phone and call me and help me. So I told her that. I said, I, I have questions. I, I need for you to, to understand the question that I'm asking. So I would even do voice uh, messages, not just a text message, a voice so she could hear the actual question and how I was asking it to maybe put some fire under her that I had these questions. Nothing. I even reached out to customer service with Unique and said, you know, hey, I have all these questions. My upline's not helping. Can I switch uplines? No. The only way you can switch upline is to let your account suspend and then you can re-sign up. Well, I didn't want to do that. I kind of already built something and or I had a few customers, not cust yeah, customers buying from me, and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I mean, is that gonna affect my account? What status I'm at, or what level I'm at? Which is another thing I didn't understand. I had asked questions, no responses. So there's a young lady on Instagram that if you are thinking about selling unique, I would sign up under her in a minute. I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to do it again. But if you're looking to sign up from Unique and you want help, sign up with Amber Vault. And Amber doesn't know me. She hasn't asked me to do this. I only follow her on Instagram. Uh, her name is Sparkle with Amber Ray, I think. And y'all, she's great. I actually wanted to move under her and Unique wouldn't let me. Um, because they said I had to suspend and then I could sign back up under her if I wanted to. And I didn't want to do that. At this point, I was already to the point of furious with them and had no desire to be a, a presenter with them anymore. But Amber is great. She's been doing it for a really long time. She, um, I actually think, and I need to check, I should have checked this before I got on the live, but she has a podcast where she's just going to help people with their businesses. And I think that's great because not only is she, you know, about making her money, but she wants to help other people do it and succeed. And she's very successful. She's very down to earth. She's a very beautiful lady. She doesn't wear a ton of makeup. I mean, you know, if you're going to go out, you're going to have a glam night. Yes, you're going to put on a bunch of makeup. But on the average, she doesn't. My upline would take an hour and a half to put on her makeup, which should have been a red flag for me because I'm not a huge makeup wearer, especially as old as I am. I don't, I don't have the need to put on that unless I'm going somewhere fancy, which... I never go anywhere fancy anymore. Church is about as fancy as it gets. Uh, but anyway, if you're looking to sign up with Unique and you're looking for an upline, be careful, first of all. Um, my upline, you know, because you have a person, then a person, then a person, then a person, then a person. But my upline's person above them wasn't even any help. And, you know, I know it's a multi-level marketing and you would think that everybody would kind of be there to help each other. And that is not the experience that I got. Maybe they didn't like my look. Maybe they didn't think I could sell a product that would help them. Maybe they didn't think I was going to benefit them. I do not know. But I do know the products that I used, I liked. Uh, I never used their collagen. I was on my way to try the collagen. But um, because of the issues that I was having with my upline, I said no. Um... Like their liquid, their liquid eyeshadow, their spray foundation, their lip mask, love all of those. And I will probably continue to use those, especially the lip mask. But I will not buy from my upline. I will buy from Amber. I'll buy, order under her. And I'm actually going to put her link in the description box below if you want to try products uh, or if you're looking to sign up. Like I said, she doesn't know me. If you reached out to her and said, hey, do you know who HodgePodge with Angela is? She's going to say, nope, no clue. But I do follow her um, on my personal page. I think I may follow her on my Instagram page for HodgePodge with Angela. I'm not sure, but I do like her a lot. Like I said, she's a very normal person. Um, she loves helping people. She's sweet. Or she appears sweet. But anyway, that is my experience with Unique. I would not recommend them as a presenter unless you get yourself an extremely good upline. And I feel like Amber Vault is probably the best that I've seen. And I followed all kinds of Unique people on my social media. And I just feel like her personality and the way that she helps people is the best. My upline was terrible. Um, in my opinion, for me, they were not good. Like I said, maybe they didn't like the way it looked. Maybe they, I don't know. I don't know the issue, but the training, 
the training was the, the part. And, you know, to keep sending somebody a video and say, hey, go watch this video. I didn't want to watch another daggum video. I wanted to get someone on the phone. And I think they did Zoom calls. But the Zoom calls didn't help me either. I had questions. And, you know, when you're doing this and, and you're trying to help other people and you have questions, you want those questions answered. And I don't need a yes, no, that sounds great, you know, two or three word responses. I had legitimate questions and concerns. So anyway, that is my experience with Unique. It was not a good one for me as a presenter. Uh, if you guys are doing it and you're succeeding with it, by all means, congratulations. I actually just really did it because I'm wearing the makeup. So I thought, well, why not do it? And, you know, I love the mascara, but I'm fixing to get lashes. So I don't need the mascara anymore. So anyway, that is my experience with Unique. It was not a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, you can always go over and follow me at hodgepodge with Angela on Instagram. Check out my, uh, podcast with the same name and until next time, bye y'all.